Alrighty, let's watch this here. This is probably for polish and final. It's really nice. I really like the tick tick. Just double check something. As we're doing this, get a nice clean silhouette, like a nice break through the leg, so it's not either clear or a tangent. Like it's a nice, nice move. I think I would have that foot angled a bit like this for polish. So imagine that leg is here and here. You might even move that leg slightly over and then tilt instead of being parallel to the ground, a bit more like that. So it's more aligned with the shin. But the main thing I'm looking at is, because if you look at the whole thing here, it's not extremely cartoony in terms of snappy timing. It's fairly naturalistic in a way. So what I'm looking at is even that has a slight, it's pretty harsh in how it goes down to like a, a knee bend pop. That could be potentially a bit more of an ease in, but it's not crazy because it has a nice energy of let's go. But the main thing I'm looking at besides, yeah, I'm skipping through things and then I see stuff like it's like you're going from a bend into a straight leg, but then you have that knee going into the right back out to the left, left, back to the right, and then over. This in real time, that left side has a bit of a wobble. I think we could polish that into a nicer line for spacing. And I wonder if here you can, instead of landing flat, we would land, because you already have the foot down, with a slight toe first to a toe bend, and that will give you a bit of a cleaner, instead of a pop bend here, a nicer smooth bend into this it's a bit foot down foot wall into that but again the main thing looking at is the amount of time we end up here to give this leg time to push forward just stays a bit mm, has a full move out maybe it's what i'm looking at is how quickly this foot goes forward and into that. It's a nice pose. I do like that. I just wonder. And again, watch out. That knee, for instance, goes to the left, left, bam, to the right, and then to the left again. It's just kind of visually has a bit of a beep, beep, bit of a jitter. But I wonder if you would go here, here, here. And on that frame, it would be, it would have to be fairly rolled. I don't want to break that foot and ankle look and everything but imagine it would be it would be much um much more straight out here kind of trailing off where we were and in that way you get another frame visual of a full extension for the push off and then you can go into the bends i think a frame a frame wouldn't make the forward move too poppy but it will give us one more frame of extension to believe the strength of the leg and muscle to go forward. That's the only thing. Watch this for the first time. It felt like, ooh, that's a soft change of direction. Where I'm not super buying it. Because she's not like pushing or landing here and at this point like this. Where where the weight over the foot is already so far that it's not just the leg moving it forward, but she's already so forward that now it's also this leg in a way. I hope that makes sense. It's a very picky, picky thing here. The other thing is the tail and that arm are a bit in sync through here. I would, I would offset that a little bit more. I think it should be okay here. I was wondering on that drop, boom, as that root stops moving, was it's fairly a one frame direction change. If you look at, let's put some onion skin in here. If you look at that line, we go down, 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 bam, back up. I think that could have, if you keep this, I would almost have this arm. Let's go fancy here, whatever, I don't know. This arm 
right down down and that's that's when the root goes back up it's such a change of direction that then that arm boom, has a bit of a lower angle and then comes back up and then meets this meaning that because the root changes direction so quickly it has a bit of a an influence on that arm bit of a shoot down and drag up into that or you give this root one more frame we're down here again this is probably for the red not the best color but we're down here down here I don't know, try maybe flattening or one below and then you can shoot up and then match here. Again, because the overall, like from the moment you start moving, it's fairly naturalistic, especially with this. This bounce back here, the timing of this gives it a, a specific realm where this is going to live to some degree. You can always kind of break it, but because of that, this only feels a bit weightless. Just that little bounce. And really, again, I'm talking about like maybe one frame. The only thing with this from here to here, I wish those arms would be in a different pose. It has a slight feeling of we're hitting this pose. And then we have that. And then we have that. And then it's kind of okay. Just. I know it's only three times, but there's a slight repetitiveness in the posing of her arms. So she goes, dip, 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 and it's almost... Because things flow nicely on threes. You could easily have this. Maybe she doesn't go, well, say not, not as high, but maybe it should be as high because this is the big push-off here. But then this would be, you know, either breaking the silhouette a bit more, where it's even higher, or just a bit lower... And then this one might already open arms and be a bit high. Again, it's a little bit of a contrast. And even, if, even if it's just in height or extension, where instead of bent so much, maybe it's bent less, and we're ending all more in holes like that. There's a slight repetitiveness here. But even your bounces boop, 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 feel kind of the same. It's almost like she goes into cycle, 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 and go. That's the only thing I would say for polishy. Errors here, it's something to give us a bit more contrast. I think you're probably okay here in terms of how low we go for push off. I could potentially try a good couple. That's the what, maybe this low, just a little bit more of a because it is quite a jump, but maybe a bit more of a, a squash anticipation into, into that. And by that extension, when she jumps, have those arms a bit lower. Because as you jump faster, it's going to drag those arms a bit more. And then that way, they have a bigger contrast to go from a bit lower out into this. That might be nice. I would probably cheat that arm further away from her. Even if it starts breaking, so we're a bit more wider arms. Because you're starting to get a really foreshortened short arm. And I know she starts to turn. But I think we can keep that a bit longer. And then she goes into that. And I know you want to keep this a light, nice, bouncy feel. But this, I would... No, she can't. She has a knee down. I was going to say lower. I don't know if you can go slightly lower. And then... I don't know if this rig has uh, like a knee move up. I can't remember. Actually, I don't think I ever reviewed that rig. So you would go lower, but then just pull that knee pull vector up. So it's not intersecting. Feels like it needs a bit bigger compression. Again, it gives it a lightness that I feel like you could give this a bit more weight. <sighs> By compressing a tiny bit more, her shoulders at this point would be higher. They feel low. I would bring those shoulders up to, not up to the ears, obviously. <laughs> They're too high, but really just more of a drag. Even this feels like we can bring up those shoulders. I don't even know if they're pulled up that much. So really high, high, high on the shoulders. Even though she is bringing her arm down, Still shoulder up, shoulder up. So arms would be higher and maybe even a bit straighter here. You can bring up those ears. I don't see, I don't see too much in those ears. A little bit of a softness potentially in the ears or a flick or something. But then the reason I'm saying all this is so that when you have stronger compression with the root down, 
then through these frames, you would also bring the shoulders down, neck a bit forward, ears a bit down. Just the, the lighter parts would compress over a couple of frames. And I would cheat this foot more into profile. With this knees out there, the foot is towards us and they seem a bit similar. So for contrast, it's nice, but also so they're not break things. Because I know you have to probably have to cheat that knee out because of how low we are. So lowering that root is probably causing more problems, but maybe we can cheat it just a bit. So yeah, a little nicer compression there. And even that tail could then shoot lower a bit sooner. And watch out. Feels like we're extending that knee back and then back forward again. So watch out in real time. Has this just a bit of a stretch pop. It's not super overextended, but a bit of a pop there. And then her finger poses like through. Even here, she could land and then spread out the fingers a bit more. Almost they're dragging a bit, not sausage fingers back, but a bit of a wider thing as in like rolled back and a bit of a spread so that when she goes in here, we can start putting them in a fist again for contrast they seem like they're just stuck in a default pose both of them in a fist in a fist in a fist and then you can bring them out again with a nicer grouping and just a nicer pose where they just seem to at least here they seem rolled up but they seem a bit too default even through here it feels like a default curl for all of these these could have some more appealing hand poses careful we have a bit of a tangent right there on that chin i would bring the arm a bit lower and especially through here, as she's done, that could be a nice pose. And then as she starts transitioning, a bit of a change, especially in this hand and the fingers. This is There's nothing happening. At least there's something happening here. I would just not have all fingers curled the same amount and start at the same time. And then during that transition, have a slight change. Again, this is stuck in the same pose. And then we're back into this, which is cute. And listen, like that nice little flick here. You know, so do you have stuff in there? So I would just kind of, just for looseness. And if it's too much, you know, it's kind of back off a bit. But just some changes for the looseness on the ears or compression or something like that. Even if she wants to, you want to make a bigger deal where she actually curls in her ears. It will be fast, but it will have some little nice detail in there. And then as she comes out, maybe then then come out again. You have it here a bit. But again, I would offset these so they're not moving at the same time. Just little slight changes. And even through there, you have a bit of a wiggle there, which is cute. I don't know if you can rotate them in Y. It's a bit more life in them. But I think that's kind of that. As she goes up and down here, you know, framing through things, since you're asking for polish, I'm looking at how much weight is now being transferred onto that leg. Both legs push off a bit more here. Bam, really compressing here. All that weight is there. But if I look at this line of her shorts in a t-shirt, there's nothing changing. And you would think that she goes up and you can even exaggerate. And instead of, I mean, I know there's still weight here, but exaggerate and actually bring this side of the hip up. And then, boom, on this, it does that, right? It goes from here to here. And a little bit of, as you go down, a little bit of a change in the hips. Maybe that's what you're doing, but you can't see it because the way this is rigged and envelope. But... I would love for see uh, I, love, I would love to see this line here change from this to this because there is a rotation in the hips that needs to be happening through all of this here. And again, all offset of fingers and all that good stuff. All right, that is that. Thank you. All right, there's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.